Okay, so I went a little overboard here, but just so you know, before this video starts, I only spent $20 on everything you're about to see. That's right, 20 US dollars on everything together. All right, I just needed to let you know that, so let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Ella again. So I just came back from the mall and I got so much stuff. I was not planning to schedule this video, but I had to share this with you guys. So those of you who know the store Flying Tiger, it used to be called Flying Tiger Copenhagen. I mean, it's a great store. It's they full of all kinds of trinkets and things. It's like a hybrid between an Ikea, a dollar store and an art store, like an arts and crafts store. I don't know, it's like a weird hybrid. I used to love it. They're closing unfortunately because of COVID. So it's really sad. They're liquidating everything. So everything's on clearance. I went to the mall today for the first time in a long time and I walked by the store and they had everything like super cheap. Basically, you paid $5 for a bag like this and you can fit 10 things inside the bag and you can just get the 10 things for $5, including the bag. So I got so much stuff and I wanted to show it to you guys. Originally, I went trying to get some art supplies because they sell watercolors, they sell watercolor paper and some arts and craft supplies. So I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna go get some art supplies. But they were out of most of their art supplies. I did get some, but not everything that I wanted. And I ended up, of course, getting all kinds of other stuff. So I wanted to show you what I got in my three bags here. I got, oh my God, this is so much stuff, crazy. So I think they're closing end of, no, middle of November, they told me. This is in New York, New Jersey. So I'm not sure what the other, the schedule for the other countries or stores are, but I believe they're closing stores in Italy and Germany. And we, you have until mid November to go get stuff before they close. So I think my store is gonna run out of stuff before, honestly before mid-November there was a huge line I had to do a line of like an hour and a half or something it was crazy just to get in and they told me that they just they had been running out of things so fast uh, they had no watercolors left they had no watercolor paper left so I was super bummed about that but I did find some other cool art supplies that I wanted to show you if you have a flying tiger near you just know that you should go ASAP if you want to get anything from there because they're closing soon. So let me show you what I got in my first bag. I got these tiny little mechanical pencils. Super cute. I use them sometimes to go sketching when I go like travel or sketching outdoors. They're small. They don't occupy a lot of space. This was the only sketchbook that I was able to find, which I thought was kind of fun it's blank paper they did have a lot of notebooks that were ruled paper and I don't really use ruled paper that much I just use notebooks for sketching so this is this was pretty cool it's actually art made by this British artist he's like a humorous and satirical drawing artist and he's called David Shergley and I thought this was really cool notebook so I can definitely use this I got this really cool kind of zipper pencil case. I've seen these a lot. I think they're really fun. And I wanted to get one for myself, but I never have. I think you can keep on sipping this. I'm not going to. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I got three frames. So I've been thinking of framing some of my watercolor paintings, which is something that I don't, I don't do very often, but um, I think I might do a little kind of put in my wall three different paintings like in the same frame, you know, just to decorate. So this is great. I mean, they're 50 cents each, which is outrageous. And this crazy thing that I got, it's a tool belt. 
So it's basically, I mean, none of this stuff is returnable, so I'm gonna just open it. Basically, it's like a belt, and you can put stuff in here, I guess, if you're doing, I don't know, like re reparations around your house, like, you know, fixing stuff, but I thought I would get it, because when I go outdoors playing or painting, and I have an easel and everything, it actually, something like this wouldn't be terrible to have to hold on to my supplies, uh, paint brushes or water containers. It might look really geeky and terrible, but I'm, I'm a geek, so who cares? I don't know, I might use it, we'll see. You end up getting all kinds of stuff that, you know, that you're never gonna use, but I think I might actually use that one. I also got, these are just flakes. They had this really nice kind of ceramic plate. They only had one of these large ones left and they had smaller ones. So then the second bag, I got the biggest pencil I've ever seen in my life. Isn't this the coolest thing? Oh my God, I'm like in love with this pencil. It is huge. It is actual wood. So it's actual wood pencil and it's actual lead like it has like real lead i'm like so stunned by the size of this pencil and you can like legit write with it i need like to find it well let me use my sketchbook now that i have my 50 cent sketchbook i might try this out let's see oh my goodness it's so funny to hold it whoa that's nuts. That's really cool. I'm in love. I am in love. I might try to like actually sketch something with this. This is so cool. And there was this like huge pencil sharpener. It's actually, it says a carrot sharpener. So I guess you can sharpen carrots and um, I guess to decorate your salad. So I thought, this pencil sharpener would fit this pencil. So I actually want to see if that's the case. I'm going to open this because I'm really curious to see if it's like murdering the packaging here. Oh my God, this is hilarious. Oh my God, look at this. It has like a peeler, like a vegetable peeler. <laughs> that is awesome let's see if this pencil actually fits the sharpener because it's not made for it but whoa it fits it fits does it sharpen no it doesn't sharpen ah that's a waste i guess it doesn't sharpen but i can sharpen a carrot i guess <laughs> with this. we'll see i'm sure if i need to sharpen this pencil ever i guess i'll have to use like a machete or something I wonder if the lead goes all the way to like across or if it's just like a little bit here. I don't know, but it is still freaking awesome. I love it. We'll see what I what I can do with that. I did get some more art and office supplies. So maybe I'll give these as gifts at some point. Don't know yet, but I got a bunch of notebooks and pencils which i'm super excited about and some stamps i got this cute little pencil case i got so many pencil cases i don't know what i'm going to put in here but i feel like i could put like a really one of my nice pens or pencils when i go out sketching and i don't want to um get banged up with my other ones actually kind of hard to close so that's cute it's really tiny i like it I got this set of pink pencils. I thought they're so cute. There's five of them in different shades of pink and red. And it there's this huge eraser that can go with this huge pencil. <laughs> and it matches the shades of the pencil set. I thought that was really cute. So maybe for a gift for a friend or something. They have the same thing in blue. So they have the huge eraser and the huge... Uh, not the huge, but the shades, the five shades of blue type of pencil. That's really cute too. I got this crazy scissors. I mean, I have so many scissors. I don't need scissors. 
I actually don't need any of this, but I mean, when I saw that a bag was five bucks for basically 50 cents per thing, regardless of what it used to cost, I thought I couldn't help myself. So sorry guys, I have a problem. <laughs> An art supplier, craft, office supply, school supply problem, I guess. These scissors are so freaking cute. They look like the head of a little alligator. That is so freaking cute. And you open them up and they have like a, I guess a spring. So they they open on their own. That is so cute. Love it. Tiny little scissors, they would fit everywhere, anywhere. Very nice, really like them. Got more drawing supplies here. These are color changing pencils have no idea what that means. I was really curious to find out. That's why I got them. I am gonna, I'm literally just gonna try them out right now because I am so curious what color changing pencils means. Let's try it out in my trusty little new sketchbook. Okay, let's try these color changing pencils. This is like an orange. That's pretty good. It has decent pigmentation for cheap pencils. Now, I didn't see the color changing. I'm not sure what they mean by color changing pencils. Like, does the barrel color change? It's not changing at all. This is red. Let me just put it on top of the orange. Does that do anything? I have no idea what they mean by color changing pencils because nothing is changing. <laughs> and if I touch it, nothing happens. Unclear what color changing pencils mean. I don't know. <laughs> Gonna have to do some research on this one, guys. Maybe it's the barrel of the pencils that change. No idea. No idea. But anyways, hey, color pencils, if anything, they're just color pencils. Now, I also got some fine liners. They had some, let me move this stuff. Oh my God, there's just so much stuff. Put it away. So they had different types of fine liners. They had black ones and colored ones. Let's see. These are the black fine liners. I'm gonna try one of them. I think they're the same size as 0.4 millimeters. And they all say the same thing, 0.4 millimeters. So they're all the same size. Let's see what, okay. That's really, those are really thin lines. Let's see if you can see that. They're not super pigmented though, but I kind of like that because when I'm sketching, you don't want the lines, if I don't want the lines to be super solid, you know, okay with that, that's not bad. I mean, four fine liners for 50 cents, that's pretty good deal. Definitely will get giving them some use. Now let's see these colored ones, having issues opening the packaging. have a blue one. Oh, these are much more pigmented. They have more ink. That black one kind of felt like it was a little dry. Red. Green. And purple, sorry. And green. Cool. I can do some interesting sketching with that. I like it. It's pretty awesome. Then I got some little sketchbooks here. They're kind of like travel sketchbooks. They come in a carboner, is that how you can say that? And there's three of them. There's a pink one, a blue one, and a black one. And I guess if you take them out of the carboner, yeah, you can just sketch with it. It's pretty thin paper. 
So it would only be for maybe pencil and some light ink. I wouldn't do any washes with this, but that's pretty cool. They're kind of scratched up, but they were the only ones left when I went and I got two. So that's great. I'm definitely giving that some use. Then I got some cool stamps. I got three different sets of stamps. They're, these are calendar stamps. So it has the month, year, week, and you can kind of write down your own you know, calendar. So if you're doing um, like a planner, you can just stamp it on the page. That's pretty cool. And there's a round one. It kind of, this one reminded me of the Mayan calendar, kind of like round. I like it, it's kind of cool. Really like that. And then I got little stamps with numbers. So I'm kind of curious actually to try these out and see how they how they work. I'm not a big stamps person. I don't usually use a lot of stamps. But if they're 50 cents, then why not? I'll try them. And this ink pad is gonna dry. Eh, it kind of has some ink. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. I'm not sure what I would use it for, but again, I just bought so much stuff that I don't know what I'm gonna do with. Cool, so those are the stamps that I got. Let's see what else is in my bag. I got some just kitchen cloths. I guess they're like absorbent cleaning cloths. I figured I would use these to clean, obviously, like the kitchen and stuff. And also they would be great to dry my brushes. So they're this really thick kind of felt type of material, very absorbent. So this would be great to clean my brushes. Kind of like that. So I might use them for both purposes. Kitchen cloth and cleaning my brushes. Then I got this really interesting, this is the only watercolor related thing that I was able to find. It is watercolor painting pad. I thought it was so cute. I love the cover. I love like the gold accents. And what I noticed is that it's kind of like watercolor paper, but it has this kind of like masking almost. It has gold and masking leaves and patterns. And I think you can paint over it with watercolor and then the patterns that are, you can see these clear kind of leaves, they would emerge from just like painting on it with, yeah, it says with film and varnish. So it has some sort of resist. So that's super interesting. Definitely gonna try this out. This was the only watercolor related supply that was left in Flying Tiger, unfortunately. I'm still happy with it. Then I got some random stuff, like I got these finger puppets for my knees. I got this like, this bag that you can hang and put clothespins inside, but I think I'm gonna use it to, to store like plastic bags or something. And I got another puppet, Christmas puppet, super cute for my niece as well. And I got some tape and a hairbrush, <laughs> random. Also, I got the bags. Um, they would give you the bag with the purchase of the 10 items and they're really cute bags. They have like the mustache and then the other bag says recycle or die. I'm not sure if you can see that. It literally says recycle or die. It is super funny. And this is the last bag actually. 
this i thought it was so cute it's a musical merry-go-round and it makes like christmas music it's really cute i got some adapter for i don't know for something <laughs> and i got some organizers so i got oof, i got these plastic organizers like little bins and some hair ties and huge paper clips these are like gigantic paper clips again unclear what i'm going to use these gigantic paper clips for and this is another one of those plates but the smaller version of the plate these organizers though i love these they're made out of recycled plastic and they'll be great to put art supplies and other little trinkets and that's it that's all i got oh my god i got so much stuff and everything was 50 cents basically including the bags so i got some supplies to try out definitely gonna try out those huge pencils and this watercolor pad i'm so intrigued by this this is so interesting and i'll be using this sketchbook for sure so sorry about the mess i was just so excited i had to show you everything that i got now i'm gonna go organize all this stuff and put it away all right well thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video which will hopefully be a bit more organized than this mess all right bye bye